Hi, beautiful. Bleaching your hair and then dyeing it red can be very tricky. Let's see if these people can accomplish that by themselves at home. Probably not. My standards are gonna be very low for this. Up first, we have a video by Ruby Lana. Ruby, what the f What's that? Girl, you gave me a fucking heart attack. I'm going to be dyeing my hair again. I'm going to be using these Arctic Fox dyes and I'm going to be mixing them. I have one like a bright dye and then I have one like dark dye so I'm gonna mix. Last time I did dye my hair was seven months ago. That's when I dyed it black and then I just kind of left it alone. Okay, well that's good. We gave the hair a little break. I'm not gonna beat around the bush. Your hair looks a little, little, little bit dry. And I'm a little nervous about the bleach going on there. So I have this big thing of bleach. Okay, a little quick blue. I don't know if your hair can handle that, but we're gonna try it, aren't we? One that's 20 and one that's 30. The reason why I'm not so scared to bleach my hair because this doesn't damage your hair as much when bleaching it. And if you guys are wondering what this is, this is Olaplex. Okay, we got some Olaplex. I mean, I'd rather you have it than not have it, but it's definitely not gonna keep all your hair on your head. You're still gonna damage your hair by lightening it. But I'm glad you're taking some precautions. That is all I can ever ask for. I'm gonna take um, one scoop of this. Okay, I'm, I took two scoops of bleach. Take my 30 volume developer. I'm just gonna put some in here. I mean, listen, she definitely needs a good 30 volume in there because uh, that hair is dark. Like it's blending into the background dark. So um, I don't know how she's gonna get that out. It's feeling like we're gonna get spotty craziness going on. A lot of like thing. So I am finished with my mixture. I put the Olaplex and I put the bleach and stuff in it. That looks like a good consistency. It's kind of this like fluffy but slightly on the thicker side type of consistency with the bleach and developer. I like that because if you're going to do an open air application, which she's probably going to do, you need to have that lightener be a little on the runny side. That way it actually goes through all of the hair fibers and you know, I feel like she's just gonna grab her hair and just start applying to it. Do we think she's gonna start on the top or on the bottom? That's the question today, because it's always the top that people start, and they should start on the bottom. It's so much easier that way. You gotta lay the hair on top, not flip it over. Um, okay, so I'm gonna now section my hair, and I am super scared to do this, guys. She's gonna do what? She's gonna section her hair? Oh, I love a good section. That word makes me a little... <laughs> Love hot. Yeah, get into it. This is probably not a good idea, knowing the fact that I almost went bald before. Okay, she's applying to the mids men's. I think we have all understood at this point that we need to do that part first if your hair is virgin or if you're doing an entire head of lightener. That's great. I'm a little worried she's taking too big of a section and just like putting the lighter over it. It's gonna, uh... I feel like it's just gonna be a little bit messy and uh, not perfect. I'm not looking for perfection, I guess, but I'm expecting a lot. It's the wavy sectioning for me. Just take a damn comb and section the damn hair out, you guys. One of these or a tail comb, just right around the head. And then this is the part where everybody gets wrong, where they do not wait enough time to apply it to the roots. You gotta make sure those mids and ends are nice and blonde because the roots process like that, like real quick, especially if you put 30 volume on the roots, like consider changing the developer as well. On like the bottom of my hair and now I'm going to mix another mixture very quickly because I don't want it to stay on for very long. And I am going to do my roots now. No! Actually, I don't know. I think she's applying to the top of her hair first. You have to apply the root color in the same pattern you did the mids and ends. She did not wait enough time. I just finished putting the bleach all over my roots and my hair. Hopefully I didn't miss any roots or anything because then I would look stupid. Honestly, I was kind of rushing, like I was doing it very quickly. Like I was just getting like a big piece of hair and I would just like 
which is not the correct way to do it but as i said i always do it my way i can already feel my hair falling off but it's cool you what you can already feel your hair falling off we'll take it off oh my god that's bad i don't know what's going on with my clothes today like i don't know that's better no I don't know. Oh my god, I look so crazy. <laughs> my head is literally white. Okay guys, so I am back and I still look crazy with multi-orange colored hair. Okay, normally I'd be like, girl, ooh, 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 ooh. You know what I mean? Like, just like that. But since we're doing a red color, this base is okay to work with. It's actually good to work with. You don't want to lift your hair too far if you're putting red over it. You know what I mean? You want to keep that red in your hair, that natural red pigment. You don't want to lift it beyond that and then put a red color over it because then it'll fade really fast and it just won't look great. It'll look a little hollow too if you over lighten it. Um, I have a bright red and a dark red. Um, so I'm gonna mix these two to get the red that I want because I don't want it too bright and I don't want it too dark. Areas that I have in my hair that are like really brown, I'm gonna use the brighter red. Red, 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 red. <laughs> I'm excited. Finally have my hair up in the plastic. It looks really bright and I didn't really want my hair to be this bright. I wanted it to be like between like a dark and a bright red. Have my timer for one hour and 28 minutes left. I put it for two hours. Hi guys, so it is the next day. Oh my God. It's definitely there. It's definitely red. It's like fuchsia. The last time you guys seen me was like freaking like four o'clock. But as you can see, I am all dressed and and my hair is already oh my god this look is everything this is how my hair came out i'm gonna keep this color for like a good two months i just feel really cute today i feel like doja cat to be honest i feel like doja cat right now what where did she get that hair what ow did you, what that looks sick wow i'm obsessed yeah that looks really good I like the way she styled it a lot. Now we have Audrey Sosa. I'm dyeing my hair red today. Well, we see uh, a little bit of box dye going on, huh? Mm -hmm. A little bit of box dye can never get enough of it. Uh, uh, I don't know if that's gonna be enough lightning for you, but we shall see. My stepmom's gonna help me do it, because if I do it myself, I'm gonna mess it up completely, so I'm not even gonna try. She has some pretty dark hair, and I can tell that it's been colored before. I'm 90% sure on that. So it's gonna be really hard to lift out that color, except she only needs to get it to that red color before she then puts over the box dye, which is not great to do because you're putting permanent color over pre-lightened hair. It just doesn't make any sense and you don't need to do that. I mean, I just wouldn't recommend it, especially when you're damaging your hair with the lightener first. It's just a lot of ammonia and a lot of high developer and it just causes a lot of damage, okay? That's just my opinion. We're applying the lightener, mids and ends first. Everybody knows to not apply to the roots first. I need to just stop talking about it at this point because it's just annoying. <laughs> guys we know to apply not to the roots first but what we don't do right is we don't wait any time until we apply to the the roots we just do the mids and ends and then it's just like boom let's apply to the roots now but no you have to wait until that processes to a nice blonde before we then do it to the roots let's get it all together baby you know it's been 30 minutes since i've had this on i'm about to wash it off so i can dry it what the is this i have toner in my hair right now i have a lot of toner why do you have toner in your hair what do you mean by that you're gonna put permanent and color over it. I don't understand. Don't talk about the hair. <laughs> My hair is dead, fried, but I couldn't care less. This looks great. It's quite even. I don't know if it's from that toner that you did, whatever that was, but it's a great color to now put red over. It looks great. It's the next day. I bleached my hair two times, so this is my hair. Oh, she bleached it twice. I only saw it once, so do better. Put that sh into the videos. I want to see it, brah. Now I'm going to dye my hair red. I got three different colors. I'm going to use a darker burgundy red for the top of my hair because it's lighter up here and the rest is going to be... We're just, we're going to have to make it work, okay? Why the box dye though? 
and the box that goes on and it's going on her scalp that's gonna hurt i don't know how she's not in pain right now she just lightened her whole entire head and now she's putting more probably 30 volume developer on her scalp ow it's definitely still gonna be lighter from the top does this look the same as this not quite <laughs> box tie that you don't know what's in it is kind of scary this is the finished look i thought it would be like bright red i took like two showers and now it's orange oh oh my god i love it it's so cute i feel really good i haven't felt this good about myself in a minute dang okay the color looks good but to make it look great listen to me put your ear up to the screen here the only critique i have which nobody asked is it literally nobody has ever asked that's not true people do ask but today, no, no. It looks a little hollow because of that permanent color, most likely. Those molecules don't want to stick in that hair that is already damaged. It's just letting the color run out. Probably every time you shampoo it, a lot of the color's coming out. You're gonna want to put a semi-permanent color over that to make it really stick. You're probably gonna need to color it over and over and over again until that molecule really sticks in there. But it looks good. You really did a good job at lightening the hair. This next video is by Mariah Morgan. So my roots are, well, um, sort of silver blondish because I did have hot roots. There's some roots happening here, which I'll be touching up soon. There is some purple as well, some brown, some orange, some blue, some green, almost every single color. Wow, she got a lot going on on my head right now. A lot, a lot. Stressing me out a little bit. I'm going to be dyeing my hair. Pillar box red. So basically what I'm doing now is I'm saturating my hair with 100% pure coconut oil so it can protect itself a bit more when it comes to bleaching. Not the damn coconut oil don't do it to me today not today coconut oil does not do anything to protect your hair from bleach damage and if it did we would have a bunch of it stocked up in every salon and we would be applying it to everybody's heads before bleaching it it's just not a thing and the lightener just eats right through it now that my hair is fully saturated with coconut oil i'm going to start mixing up my ingredients for my bleach bath i mixed my bleach and developer as per usual one part bleach two parts developer and just i wing the shampoo and conditioner mixture um, using more shampoo than conditioner. I'm just gonna mix this up. Okay, so she's doing a bleach bath, which I don't know what's underneath that purple, but I'm guessing it's blonde. So that would make a lot of sense if she's doing a bleach bath. So that's a good idea because she's trying to avoid like overdoing it with the lightener. But I don't know if it's gonna be enough to like take out all that color. I don't know. I've never put conditioner in a bleach bath because you really want it to be like harsh on the hair. You want it to really take out that color quickly and effectively. So like putting conditioner in a bleach bath it probably makes things a little bit less like i'm not finding the words to use today but you know what i mean it's just gonna make it a too conditioning and we're starting on the top of the head why can't we start on the bottom i want to know what the reason is Well, it's definitely lightning and it's lightning to green. I am going to let this sit in my hair for a good 30 minutes and wash it out and dr let it dry and be back. So as you can see, this is what my hair looks like. It did lift quite a lot at the roots, but there's still some green. So it technically did not lift as much as I anticipated to. Thank God she's putting red in her hair because it would be very difficult to save this. But that's okay because I've seen people going from green to red, so I'm sure it's doable. There is, yes, chunks of purple and blue still, but I'm not going to bleach my hair again because I don't want it to look like sh**. Well, the thing is with green and red is that they're opposite on the color wheel. You know what that means? They cancel each other out and they create brown. The worst I guess that could happen is that she has ends up with brown hair instead of red. Okay, we're going with the red and it's dark, dark, dark red. Fantastic. It looks beautiful. Oh, I can't wait. This is like blood red, girl. I love it. If you're gonna do red, go red. Oh my god. Not the no gloves. Oh god. No, you did not just dye your hair red with no gloves. Girl, your hands are gonna be red for a long time. That stresses me out. Ooh. I'm going to let this sit in my hair for maybe 30 minutes to an hour, wash it out with cold water, conditioner, let it air dry, maybe like style it to make it look nice and Gucci. I hope this looks good. 
Hi there, it's red. I mean in certain lighting it looks pink, but this is like the true color It's like a bright cherry red also. Hi. Oh, sorry. The hands is all I can focus on right now What the hell? But besides the hands. Oh my god. How is her hair this even? I'm surprised that the bleach didn't do much damage to my hair like this feels and looks so nice Washed my hair conditioned it let it dry applied some argan oil and some serum blow dried it straightened it <laughs> This is what my hair looks like in natural lighting. I love it. Came out pretty decent. I was expecting it not to look as good. The color looks amazing. Look at that shine. No tangles. It feels so soft. So gorgeous. Ah, uh, that makes two of us and probably a lot more people. I did not expect it to look that good. And it looks fuchsia pink in the sunlight. Love the vibe. Such a better look than what you started with. Wow, what the hell happened? Y'all shock me all the time. I don't know. How or how? Where did that? Who? How? That's all I have to say. They looked great. If you want to check out my hair care line or my hair color line, where we have an incredible red color called Super Red, do it. Check it out. It's linked below or go to xmonohair.com. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. I'll see you next time. Bye.